What's good, y'all? Shit. Lost here. I want to speak on something. The whole, um... The fight thing. Michael Osiris was doing. And, uh, while Snapdog came out. And, um, shout out to Snapdog, man, for coming out. Speaking of real, bro. That was some, that's some bitch ass shit, man. Walk out, move back down, down, down. The th my thing is, you don't gotta be a street nigga, man. Like, if you just a black, like, this, this the thing, right? With the whole 6 9 shit. I, and I hate to speak on this thing, because I know it's like the snitch culture, snitch culture and everybody talking about, tired, tired of talking about it, right? But, to me, you don't gotta be a gangster. You don't. Like, 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 I look at it like this, bro. The only difference between us, people who like me, like us civilians or people who are out of prison and people who are in prison is the people in prison get caught because everybody breaks the law. Everybody breaks the law. The people in prison get caught. That's the difference. And so I don't like to look at that old criminal shit because they just got caught. There are executives who have that own five, five, four, five, four, I don't know what the name is, Fortune 500 companies. I'm trying to say the name. Fortune 500 companies who launder money and steal the same way that they say petty drug dealers and pimps do, right? And get caught. But they just don't get caught because they're doing it on such a larger scale. They may be paying law enforcement and things like this. But everybody does crime, my nigga. So off the strength of that. And then. We all seen that 6 ix 9 was participating in doing criminal shit, bro. How could you fucking support them? I'm trying to see if there's like that popcorn shit in my beard. I think it is. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, like, how could you support them, bro? How could you fuck with them? Or when somebody does fault them or call them a snitch, how could you defend them? If you want to listen to his music, fine. But just when somebody calls them a snitch, just back off. Like, hey, you did that, bro. And you a ho It's not about snitching. To me, I say, how could you support them? But y'all don't give a fuck about more. So I'm, not, I'm just going to say, how could you defend somebody when they go against them? But for me, I know the niggas who think like me. As a black man, I'm like, how could you support them, bro? Because as black people, we put, we, we get put in. We, we're the only race that the U.S. government is our damn enemy. The CIA, the DIA, the CIA, the DEA, the FBI. The police department, they actually are, they actually want to do harm to us, want to put us in prison. They don't want to make sure our communities are cleaned up and safe. They wish that all of us in the community were just gone. If they could, they'll just leave all our women and children so they can mold our children to be the kind of mother, the, the motherfucking kind of black people they want to be. And they just, of course, they, uh, they'll use our women for, you know, we are, in, we are in, well, you know what? I don't even say that because this statistic gonna blow y'all mind, but it's just the truth. A lot of them slave owners was faggots, dog. A lot of them. Most of them. Them niggas is gay, bro. Most of them niggas was gay, dog. Check this out. 80% of the time, slave owners had sex with men. 20% of the time, it was with women. And they only did it with women to reproduce. And that was it. And you might be saying, hold on. Um... They had, um, uh, they didn't like mixing the babies. They threw the babies to, 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 to uh, to, uh, crocodiles to feed, what, to, uh, for, for bait, to fatten up the crocodiles, so crocodiles were proper bait then. They did. But when Jim Crow came out and taught about, like, the mixing the blood and how to make the light-skinned house nigger, how he'll be, that they're more comfortable around them, they would fuck them women to make house niggers, right? So when they wanted to feel niggers, they'll make the, they'll let the black dude come in and sleep with them. When they had the, um... When they wanted to make house niggas, they would just go. They would go fuck the women, but most of the time they was on some other shit. And they wanted to fuck the men. That's just what it was, bro. But I'm getting off topic because I want. To, I, I was talking about Wakio Cyrus. And shit. <laughs> Back to what I was talking about, Wakio Cyrus, bro. You know what six nine and did, and you know what he stand for, bro. With DJ Academics. To me, I'm not going to say it's on the same thing as 6 9 because DJ Academics is a journalist, so I don't really fault DJ, I don't really fault, well, 
Yeah, yeah, I don't fault DJ Dennis for fucking with 6ix9ine because he's a journalist. Journalists interview criminals, child molesters, and whoever to get a story. That don't mean they fuck necessarily fuck with him, but he fucks with 6ix9ine, but you guys understand. DJ Dennis is a journalist, so getting DJ Dennis involved, I guess that's just more prop and hype for the fight. Any clip that come out going to be on his Instagram anyway. So I guess I kind of understand and calling him, but why would you call 6ix9ine, bro? And you know Trippy Red and 6ix9ine got real beef. Real beef. Like, you know, like you know, if 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 6ix9ine could, and he saw Trippy Red doing anything illegal, he would snitch, get this nigga in trouble, and literally try to make fun. You know that, bro. Why would you do that? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's crazy, bro. Walker Osiris don't come off as a stiff dude, but you're still a black man, bro. As a black man, why would you want to set up another black man like that, bro? Trippy Red ain't done shit to you, bro. He just said, hey, I'll box with you. Well, actually, he just called you out on some shit that happened. If if And if that's actually how it happened, just say, hey, I didn't want to fight you then, but I'll fight you now. Don't come out and try to call him out like, oh, you didn't try to fight me. And then when, and then when you set it up, you try to bring DJ Academics and fucking 6 9 bro. Come on, man. That ain't some that ain't some stiff shit, bro. That's some, that's some funny acting shit. For shit show, that's some funny acting shit, bro. Don't be on that kind of shit, dog. Don't be.